Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate volumes of gases and chemical reactions. In the last video we saw that one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 24 decimeters cubed at room temperature and pressure. So if we know the number of moles of a gas we can calculate the volume by using this equation. The volume in decimeters cubed is the number of moles multiplied by 24. And here's a triangle if you prefer to use these. So in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the volumes of gases involved in chemical reactions. Here's a sample question. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced using 300 grams of calcium carbonate. Assume that the gas is at room temperature and pressure. The relative formula mass of calcium carbonate is 100. From the equation we can see that one mole of calcium carbonate produces one mole of carbon dioxide. So first we need to calculate the number of moles of calcium carbonate that we're starting with. To calculate the number of moles we use this equation. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. The mass is 300 grams and the relative formula mass is 100. So we're starting with 3 moles of calcium carbonate. As we saw before, 1 mole of calcium carbonate produces 1 mole of carbon dioxide. Therefore, 3 moles of calcium carbonate will produce 3 moles of carbon dioxide. To calculate the volume, we multiply the number of moles by 24. 3 multiplied by 24 gives us a volume of 72 decimeters cubed, and that's our final answer. OK, here's a question for you to try. Calculate the volume of hydrogen gas produced from 325 grams of zinc. Assume that the gas is at room temperature and pressure. The relative atomic mass of zinc is 65, so pause the video and try this yourself. From the equation, we can see that one mole of zinc could produce one mole of hydrogen. So first, we need to calculate how many moles of zinc we have. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. Remember that zinc is an element. So 325 divided by 65 tells us that we've got 5 moles of zinc. This means that we can produce 5 moles of hydrogen. To calculate the volume of the hydrogen, we multiply the number of moles by 24, and this gives us a final answer of 120 decimeters cubed. Here's a final one for you to try. Calculate the volume of chlorine required to react with 80 grams of calcium. Pause the video and try this yourself. OK, from the equation we can see that one mole of calcium will react with one mole of chlorine. So first, we need to calculate how many moles of calcium we're starting with. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. The mass is 80 grams and the relative atomic mass of calcium is 40. This means that we've got two moles of calcium. As we said, one mole of calcium reacts with one mole of chlorine, so we need two moles of chlorine. To calculate the volume, we multiply the number of moles by 24. Multiplying 2 by 24 gives us a volume of 48 decimeters cubed, and that's our final answer. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on calculating the volumes of gases and chemical reactions in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate volumes of gases and chemical reactions.